So we have just arrived in Cardiff and as you can probably see, the weather is not on our side at the minute. We are in the wettest city in the UK after all, but we've just taken the opportunity to quickly dive in one of the coffee shops that we'd earmarked to visit while we were here, Quantum Coffee Roasters. They've got several locations across the city. We picked the one on the Cardiff Bay. We've just treated ourselves to a nice Americano to warm ourselves up and some cake as well. Josh had an orange and pistachio cake and I had a yogurt topped flapjack and that was the perfect start on a rainy day here in Cardiff. So we're now just heading away from Cardiff Bay, heading towards the city centre and I think we're going to head into the museum whilst the weather is a bit crap so we might as well be inside, get that done. It's free entry as well so we can't really complain at that. Definitely looking forward to trying some more Welsh cakes because when we was last here that was all I ate. And it'll probably be one of the only things he eats this time as well let's face it. Probably but it just tastes different when they're fresh which I'm sure you'll all understand that. So we've made it through the rain to the National Museum Cardiff. It looks like many other people have got the same idea. Josh is very happy because there's a natural history section and what have we just seen? We've seen some dinosaurs. He's very very happy. I'm a happy boy now. Hopefully the weather will be a bit better tomorrow and we'll actually go and get some hunt for some dinosaur footprints. Look at the size of that spider. They used to live in the coal forests here in Wales. Luckily I don't think they do anymore. I'm not feeling that. <laughs> we were hunting those a few weeks ago on the beach in Dorset. Definitely didn't find one that big though, did we? we? Can you imagine carrying that from the beach, from where we was, <laughs> over the rocks, a couple to the of straps on your back, it'd be fine. Well, that would be cool. Don't touch anything. I was going to say, do you imagine being the one cleaning that? Oh. And you knock one and the whole lot goes You get over. a sneeze halfway through and you can't fight it off. You would be <laughs> sacked. So we've just come across this and it looked a little bit unusual, so it caught our eye. And then we were reading this sign and uh, noticed what it was called. I won't repeat it, but okay. Interesting. Okay, so this is pretty cool. This is a 1913 directory of Cardiff businesses. Cut out of the pages is city boundary. And then the rest of it is turned into a Cecil Oak, which is the National Tree of Wales. That is cool. That is cool. Really cool. That takes origami to a whole nother level. It does. Well, I think that's enough culture for one day. And the good news is it's pretty much stopped raining now. Can we go find some Welsh cakes now? Come on then. Yes. I wonder if he's pointing the way. No, he's got his fist up. Oh, I want those Welsh want cakes. Those Welsh <laughs> Give it to me now. Brought you some Welsh cakes. Thanks, sweet pea. <laughs> They're not all for you though, but they are warm. We've got more than we thought. Yeah, we've just popped into fabulous Welsh cakes, which is right on the corner of the Castle Quarter Arcades. It sounds very bougie, it's very fitting for us. And we've just come up onto the balcony. You can stand up here, you can people watch people down below shopping and just milling around. Stand and enjoy your fabulous Welsh cakes, freshly griddled, nice and hot. It smells incredible, isn't it? It does smell incredible <laughs> and it's out of the rain so it's like win-win for everybody somebody's really enjoying themselves oh go on then i'll let you try the first i don't one. know what flavor to go for well that's the only thing because they're all in the same bag i don't even know how you're going to tell it's now it's a surprise there's milk chocolate double chocolate apple and cinnamon and traditional which i think is like raisin i think this stuff. is traditional Traditional. Someone's a happy boy. <laughs> they're as good as I remember. You can buy them in the supermarkets where we live, but obviously they're never the same. As soon as she handed me that bag and I found the warmth, I was like, yes, this is going to hit the spot. It's like a lucky dip, isn't it? It is. Oh, that looks like a chocolate. This is chocolate. Mm. Double chocolate because there's white chocolate in there as well. Oh, what? Oh, stood up on a balcony in fresh Welsh cakes. I feel like a king. Hello, peasants. Hello. <laughs> Well, the weather couldn't be any different today. It is so still here. We have come just outside the city of Cardiff to a little place by the sea called Penar. And we really weren't expecting this when we come to Cardiff, but we're going to go and find, hopefully fingers crossed, some dinosaur footprints here on the beach in Penar. But the morning is beautiful. The sea is so still. It's literally like a lake. I don't think I've seen the sea this still in a very long time. We, like, we can see Devon off in the distance. Yeah. The, the sun's coming towards us. 
this. Yeah, we well, can, can see, see it coming you, out. You can see it piercing <laughs> through the uh, clouds. It's just incredible. And like over there, just like how stunning that is. It's, it is a beautiful part here. It really is. I just, I didn't expect this when we come to Cardiff. It's a bit of a bonus for us, but hopefully somewhere along here, yep. we're going to find ourselves some dino footprints. So let's go. Okay, we're not having much luck. We found a couple, but we're still not sure. Well, we think we have. <laughs> yeah, we think we have. I mean, I found this. I don't know if you're going to make it out on the camera. It kind of looks like a footprint in my eyes, but that's probably my eyes playing with me. There's some more over there that we'll show in a second though, but we are trying to look for this one particular, very impressive one that's just on its own. And uh, I've been right up there. I, and... I think it's way down there. They're always way down there. They're never too close. <laughs> but it does say online it's 800 meters south from the pier. So I don't really know how far 800 meters is. The, them ones over there are definitely in another picture because somebody's kindly stood in the picture to give us perspective. Yeah, but yeah. I'm determined to find this one. Uh, it's annoying. Like, because we, we failed on the fossil hunt. Oh, Back in Dorset, yeah, Back yeah. In Dorset. It is what it is. Now we're hunting dinos. How weird is like this rock pavement on the beach though? I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. We uh, Googled it and it said it's some sort of Triassic mud rock. So if nothing else, we found mud rock yeah. from the Triassic period. This is the one we're trying to find that we found on the reviews. It was only five months ago. And so it's very obviously it's very a footprint. very obviously a footprint. So it's either under some seaweed or we're just really blind. Well, the other issue we've got is, as you can probably see up here, the cliffs have fallen. So from that picture, it could be covered and I'm not going close it to the cliff. It could be, and the part we're at, the cliffs are kind of supported, whereas they're onwards, they're not. So, so we're staying here. We're staying here. <laughs> it is what it is. I've just found this. I don't know if this is actually it, because you've got, you've got a footprint there, there, and there, and that's quite clearly an outline of something. Yeah, so I'm going to go with that as one. And we're fairly certain, thanks to that photo online, that these are footprints all the way along. You can see them dotted all the way along this bit. I wonder if that pronounced one's up there somewhere, because it would make sense if it was walking that way. <laughs> if it was walking that way. <laughs> It was here two days ago. They're only two days old, these prints. Look for poop. So these are probably the clearest ones we've found so far. I think you can probably see these quite clearly on the camera because each one's got rocks in the middle of it, like here. And they literally stretch the whole way along that strip of mud rock to the very wall. We still haven't found that other one though. We haven't. I've, we found a footprint that's kind of looks like a footprint, <laughs> but I don't know if that's our eyes playing with us, but it's all part of the fun. These ones are definitely footprints. We found stuff, so it wasn't a letdown as such. By the way, if you are thinking of coming here, you do have to deal with clambering over this rocky beach so probably don't wear your stiletto heels yeah and don't wear your nice white shoes but you never learn. Never, ever learn. <laughs> well, this all looks a little bit different in the sunshine, doesn't it? Oh, no. One thing I'm certain of, though, yep. is after all of that dinosaur print hunting, we've definitely earned ourselves a coffee. Oh, I could do with a coffee. We've only had one today. Let's go do it. Yeah, it even looks so nice down here at Mermaid Key this morning that I'm half tempted to shove us on that observation wheel. Hey. Eh? <laughs> oh. Look, we normally do towers. Observation wheels might be we our new thing. We haven't we... done any towers this trip. Exactly. But, you know, the wheels might be our new thing because they're not much more expensive than the towers, but they're a lot easier. And, you, don't have to climb and you get to sit down. Exactly. <laughs> so on that little jetty sticking out into Cardiff Bay, it's a place simply called Coffee Co, which might be the prettiest location for a coffee shop we've ever been to at the it's moment. On, it's on like a little mini pier thing, and it looks really quirky, really stunning, and I think we need a coffee from there. Maybe a cake. Okay, you said it. Oh, look at that. I don't think I've ever seen a chocolate cornflake brownie. I like that. And I've gone for the Malteser cookie. I'm a sucker for a cookie and this one is thick. Look at that. Oh, yes. Cheers. Cheers to Cardiff. Yeah. It's hot. <laughs> Well, I think Coffee Co definitely wins for location and cakes, but I've got to say, I actually think the coffee from Quantum was better yesterday. So if you want coffee, go there. We're now going to take a walk around the Cardiff Bay, make the most of the weather, and uh, oh, by the way, it's a Welsh Parliament building. Right, Josh, you've had your coffee, you've had your cake, it's time for a test. Right. Which famous author is from Cardiff? <laughs> That's I don't you. know. You've told me. I remember you telling me. I just can't remember. It's Roald Dahl. Oh, Roald Dahl. And he was christened in that Norwegian church there. Yeah. Knew that. Yeah, <laughs> you did. Thanks to Google. <laughs> We've only got a fan of bridge. It's only a tiny bridge. Oh, I do love a bridge. It's it only a, a tiny bridge, but it's a funky one. I don't know what it's meant to be. It's, it kind of reminds me of a swan in a weird way. Yeah, I mean, I don't really understand the design, but it's cool. 
<laughs> Look at this tiny chip shop. How cute is that? That, that is adorable. It's adorable. Oh, oh, there's another coffee co there as well. We could have come there. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I'm more interested in this. It's not open, you can't have chips. This is cool, I've not seen something like this. So they've got loads of like bird houses in here, but they've obviously built a speaker in so you can actually hear all the birds inside. Yeah, it's a nesting tower for swifts. That's, That's really, really cool. cool, I like that. So we managed to find the enormous credit card. Credit card? Credit card? <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. So we managed to find the enormous <laughs> Star crocodile. <laughs> Star <again. laughs> so we found the enormous crocodile. We got there in the end, yes, yes we have. And also, I've got to say, there aren't many major cities in the UK where you can just walk around a huge bay like this no. and then out to the ocean in literally 10 minutes. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful around here. It clearly used to be like an industrial area because there's like old train wagons and stuff all dotted around. But They've done it really nice. It's really beautiful. It's a really nice walk on a summer's day. A beautiful time of the year to come as well, late spring, because there's flowers all out. It all looks green, fresh, bright yellow dandelions everywhere. Bit breezy though. Yeah. <laughs> but we after back? yesterday, we can't complain really. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, let's head back. Also, just noticed where those houses are up on the top of that cliff there is actually Penarth, where we started the day this morning. We're literally on the opposite side of the water now because we can see those two islands out in the water that we can see from there. We've almost walked back to Penarth. Let's not do that. Well, you <laughs> Just can't. because that way. You can't, because you've got the entrance to the bay, so you'd have to swim a bit, and I'm not feeling that. <laughs> I haven't got my swimmers on. Ready to liven things up a bit? <sighs> go on then. <laughs> Let's go for a ride on the Cardiff wheel. Good job I'm not afraid of heights. I am. <laughs> oh well. What a beautiful day for a ride on the wheel. Look at this. The only problem with this one is you can spin it. Oh yeah, we weren't expecting this. Um, oh, I hate spinny rides. Oh, oh yeah. slow down, slow down. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, that's enough. That's enough. Oh. <laughs> All right, Tigger. <laughs> but I'll give you that. The views are incredible, though. We were right over there a little while ago. That's where we were. That's wow. where we were. We so you can see right up into the city centre. You really can. See the Millennium Stadium. You can see everything today. Yesterday, we could see Naff All. But <laughs> I've got to say, though, she might be creaking a little, but it is a smooth ride. It's smoother than the one we went on in Bristol. That's that was true. definitely clunky, yeah. yeah. And I'm going to go as far as saying the views are a lot better as well. Alright, <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. Anyway, we've made our way back up into the city centre. We literally just stopped at the Museum of Cardiff to use the toilet. This is going somewhere, I promise. Inside, the lady said to us, oh, go and check out the old Victorian entrance. It used to be a library. And there's this corridor, all tiled, really ornate, really beautiful, a real hidden gem and really unique feature. Speaking of unique features as well, we've just walked past the Wall of Animals, which is like one of the old castle walls outside, but it's really weird because it's just got like weird animals creeping over the top of it. and the bear definitely had eyes I wasn't expecting. But we couldn't come to Castle and not at least see the Cardiff. Now, we couldn't come to Cardiff and not see the castle, so seen it. Well done. <laughs> Got there in the end. Took him three goes for that, so the master had to do that one. Just saying. Whatever. I've ca cancelled your order of Welsh cakes. They knew we were coming, Josh. They've rolled out the big guns, and not only have they rolled out the big guns, they've rolled out the trebuchet as well. Oh, that's extreme, that. There we go, your reward for exploring Cardiff. Thank you Some much. fresh, hot they're really Welsh warm. cakes. I've got 12 <laughs> in here, haven't I? You, yeah, you've got 12, but they're not all yours. See ya. Rude. Well, Cardiff has really taken us by surprise. We didn't have high ex expectations when we got here, but this city is beautiful. If you want to see where we stayed at the Zip by Premier Inn, click this video here and join us at Cardiff's only capsule hotel. We'll see you over there. Bye. I've got my Welsh cakes. See you later.